there's a couple of different ways you can calculate the pH of an acid-base buffer. Um, you can use the Henderson Hasselbalch equation and just plug numbers in. There is the systematic approach. Uh, what I'm going to show you is using the ice table. There's actually there's really no need to memorize the Henderson Hasselbalch equation. It comes out of the equilibrium calculation. Um, so let's say we have an acid which is uh, acetic acid acetate and we've got 0.5 molar acetic acid. I'm just going to abbreviate to HAC for acetic acid and AC minus for acetate. So it's 0 0.08 molar acetate. And we'll start off with the acid dissociation uh, equation. So acetic acid will react with water would donate a proton will come to equilibrium and you'll get a formation of acetate and HPL plus. And we'll use the ice table so we've got initial change in equilibrium concentration. Uh, so our initial concentration, the only real difference between this and the weak acid or weak base calculation is that we've got a concentration of a reactant and also a concentration of a product. Um, but we're going to say it hasn't reacted yet with the water, so there'll be no HPO plus. Now, as it changes, it'll go in the forward direction, because otherwise we get a negative concentration for HPO plus. Um, so we'll lose some acetic acid. We're going to gain the same number of moles of acetate, moles per liter, since it's all in the same volume. Um, and we'll gain the same number of moles of HPO plus. So equilibrium will be 0.15 minus x for acetic acid, 0 0.08 plus x for acetate, and just x for HO plus. Now we'll put that into the equilibrium um, expression. So for acetic acid, the Ka is going to be concentration, the equilibrium concentration of acetate times the equilibrium concentration of hydronium, HO plus, divided by the equilibrium concentration of acetic acid. And we can look that up. Um, and then we have a value for that of 1.75 times 10 to the minus 5. Uh, so from our ice table, the E is our equilibrium concentration. So we can say that the acetate concentration is 0 0.08 minus x. Um, HPL plus is just x, so we multiply by x and divide by 0.15. I'm sorry, this should be a plus x because it's a product. Uh, 0.15 minus x. Now, if we make our approximation and say that, you know, adding, if x is going to be very small, and we know it is because the k value is very small, then adding a small value to 0.8 really won't make much difference, or subtracting it put from 0.15 won't make much difference. So we're going to end up with 0.08x over 0.15. We know the value for Ka, so we can rearrange for x, which is our HVO plus concentration. And that's going to be 1.75 times 10 to the minus 5 times 0 0.15 divided by 0 0.08 and that equals 3.28 times 10 to the minus 5 molar. That's the HRA plus concentration. Take the log of that. Um, the negative log is the pH and we get an answer of 4.48 for the pH of the buffer.